which we now see uh, you know indigg players engaging with us uh, a lot more and uh, with the next campaign we are going to also improve in terms you know this month the previous month we did uh, 20 tournaments nationwide this month it is going to i mean not this month we'll begin from 1st of march for well, sorry 1st of may so then the number of two tournaments will be tripled so and we'll be having 60 tournaments which me which means you know more number of uh, players joining uh, arsenal and playing so it's just only for arsenal uh, but you know the campaign will also be coupled with h2o because we are planning to release h2o uh, by the end of this month i mean we are trying our best uh, the game is basically done because you know we we tried with alpha some of you are also alpha testers over here and uh, we have to uh, finish the blockchain part you know once that is done i think uh, so trying and pushing uh, the team to to finish uh, uh you know to finish the app as early as possible um so you know arsenal is going well you know, we have uh, lots and lots of plans for arsenals uh you know uh, now there are requests from uh from a lot of uh i would say esports esports platforms that they want to uh, play arsenal on a on a higher level on a global level so we are kind of preparing a separate tournament base for Arsenal, uh, wherein we'll be able to accommodate more players um, with ease, and it will also be easy to monitor them. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that that was the initial plan with Arsenal. We begin with the base, and then we go to uh, we go to a higher number, which is very much required for our mass adoption. Um, and good, I think, you know, with Arsenal, it's, it's just a steady, steady, steady improvement, and the game will keep on improving. As in, like people were asking about, you know, the game turning out uh, to kind of an uh, RPG first shooter game. Everything, I think, it, it's noted by our team, and we blend the game slowly into such a way that uh, it it will be, you know, playable and liked by more audience. Because currently, Arsenal is 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 of course a very good game, but is not play, playable by everyone. Like, you know, our team of IndieGG wants to have kind of a strategy part in Arsenal, so. I think that would be also a focus with with this game in the in the roadmap. We'll be changing the road roadmap a bit instead, you know, updating the roadmap. Uh, but the basics will stay stay the same, going from Arsenal 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0. Uh, yes. So yeah, as I explained about S2O, uh, uh, I mean the developments are are superb. I would say um, that I mean the core team is now working on optimizing the app. Uh, because every time you know you try to release an app and it's kind of a, a heavy heavy on many devices it's it's not as heavy as arsenal of course but it it would we are trying to optimize it so that you know it's almost playable in, in at least uh, the latest devices uh, uh, we integrated the second map uh, working very well and um, there were few other optimizations and you know the game is more fluidic uh, so should be releasing one more build for the testers by the end of this week and i wish i just wish i'm crossing my hands that my finger sorry uh, that we release the uh, uh, beta version by the end of april so you know let's see let's hope uh, for the best uh, you know the, the most you know one thing which is in in the long development is fan build uh, i think that was supposed to be one of the highlights after Arsenal, but uh, as you know, I I did agree and I, I I told what kind of development issues we faced. But you know, it I I, I could say I should thank to God. You know, finally we found the right set of uh, uh, developers right now working on uh, Fanwelt, and we had a very brilliant week last week i mean everything was sorted like i'll give you an example if some of you do understand the code for fan build was written very well but the the structure of the code the infrastructure of the code was not very cool and uh, it was a new platform for us to be honest uh, it's it's built on 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 an app called as on a platform called as flutter and uh, we were new to flutter 
um, because uh, I mean, why we chose Flutter is Flutter is perfect for app development and it gives more royal feel to the app and it gives more smoothness to the app. And that's what we need uh, with Fanwell because it's it's kind of it's going to be a very, very mass adopted, uh, 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 let's say, a game. So as it, it is again going to be the plan, we start with cricket and football um, and also again planning to uh you know give an alpha version of of the game by end of april and probably by mid of march or somewhere you know there's indian premier league going on at least we'll be uh, trying to play the playoff uh, with the community as as a beta version of the game um we had a, we had a new ui for fan build probably you know even if we are not able to provide you the game let's uh let's give you a a teaser of the new UI. It is looking uh, very nice. I mean, the light version. Um, we uh, redesigned it and we updated a bit of other stuff to make you know more uh, like user friendly and uh, reduce the kind of strain to your eyes. And you know uh, the uh, the transitions are made much simpler and also smoother. Um, that's going well as well. And you know, I I, I said it's uh i'm going to talk about four games i'm not sure how many of you did follow the prize discussion group uh, while i was you know texting and chatting with you people it's always wonderful to come and chat with you people uh there's the the fourth game uh i wouldn't tell exactly what it is but i would reveal the name today and probably maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow we'll give you a teaser of the game of how it looks we just got the teaser today the UI is absolutely brilliant. I'm sorry, you know, I just have to boast about it sometimes. So the name of the game is Top G. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a um, kind of a racing battle game, but you actually do not race in the game, but you play a sport. Uh, and someone in in the in the prize discussion group exactly, you know, predict uh, answered it correctly. Um, I think we resemble a game which is which exists in web 2 but we we i mean it's it's a very popular game and we wanted to bring that to web 3 with more updates and and the change of kind of gameplay and how we're gonna you know um, leverage the blockchain part and how we are going to use the asset part in the game so should also be good and the good news is the game is done i mean uh not the blockchain part but the uh the web 2 part is done and uh, in the video you will see the gameplay and also of course the graphics and how the game looks like overall uh that would be this week yeah so now four games um and good and now i think uh we we had a we had a good team discussion this week and uh, we are ready to go for a very vast game for this year uh once we finish with uh, H2O, Fan World, and Top G. Uh, the entire team will club up as one big team. And if possible, we are going to hire more people. It all depends on how the market behaves. And the start of a very vast game shall begin uh, in, in quarter two. Uh, and uh, we target probably beta by end of quarter four, because since it's going to be a vast game, we have to do all the assets. We have to design the game. We have to discuss everything that uh, that goes into uh, on the Web3 side. Uh, you know, we did, we did, uh, of course, poll uh, already for the VAS game, and it turned out to be an RPG game. So we're thinking kind of, you know, uh, kind of a GTA version. Uh, but we have seen, you know, such kind of game do. I mean, it already exists on the chain, but uh, we'll try, you know you people understand everything that we do we try to give a bit of spice and we try to give a bit of uh uh uniqueness to the game so uh that would be our uh, our motto with this game and uh, i think it should be more engaging in terms of we'll, we'll try to create the game in such a way that there can be two different gamers playing two different kind of uh let's say stories in the game 
uh, but still interacting with you, each other and they can play a racing story someone can play a uh, play a detective story or whatever i'm just giving an example uh, yeah this is the gaming side so we also do understand you know our core is gaming but gaming also does require a lot of other services like many people mention uh, 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 marketing, uh, marketing is for overall project. Uh, but yes, there was a concern raised about NFT rental. We missed that. It's I would I would take it as uh, a, a kind of a um, failure uh, of this project. I mean, we did not do it on time. Uh, the reason was because of our marketplace. Uh, uh, so we came up with a solution. Uh, that we will launch NFT rental uh, shortly, uh, and that would be on our partner marketplace. Uh, once this Arsenal update is done, the next thing we are going to do is work on the NFT rental. So basically, you just have to use a link, go there, and all the fan-built NFTs will be listed. You can go and rent them. And once our our marketplace is fixed, we just move that to uh, the uh, the native marketplace so it, it really doesn't make a difference because they have a lot of projects uh, you know which are using renting portal on their platform it doesn't really make a difference but which is also cool and we do really have a, a kind of now it's kicking in because the market is good uh, we had a uh, we had a chat with one of our partners called us agora and uh, they had a very brilliant NFT sale out and they believe they have a very strong NFT community because they are partnered with Ultra and Ultra is, is a very good gaming blockchain with over 100,000 uh, gamers or users with them. So they want to do the special series which I've been talking since ages now. Uh, so I think uh, we should be uh, taking with special series and we also believe there'll be a short uh, cycle for BTC, it will move up, and that should be the time uh, we should be launching a kind of a uh, let's say initial NFT offering with this. Uh, now, you know, I exactly do not want to give you the idea of, of these series, uh, but we are trying to mix up two utilities which should be very very wonderful and i can i can give you more details about it by next monday or, or the coming monday when we have ama uh, but of course you will also be able to you know look into what's happening with agora because we'll of course put it on socials and do try to participate in it because you know agora sold their nfts in seconds the first lot went in about 70 seconds and uh, we did not even get a chance to look at it so they have a they have a very good base so we are confident that uh, you know we'll sell out uh, with with a uh, with good utilities and the designs are beautiful as well so why not uh, now we are also moving towards the integration of other blockchains uh, so we integrated mantle i'm i'm not very sure if you've heard of mantle mantle is a layer 2 solution and uh, Mantle is, you know, kind of very much gaming focused right, right now. And we are getting good support from them. We are getting good grants from them. And they want to elevate us. Now Mantle is going to eat Tokyo. Uh, and they do really want to showcase us, which is very cool. And then I think uh, probably by the end of this month, uh, we should be announcing the partnership with Mantle. And that should also give us a a, a good amount of exposure because Mantle uh, already has over 100k of followers uh, on their socials. And then moving on to we have Oasis. Oasis is a very brilliant blockchain as well. Uh, we look at I'm talking about blockchains and we are doing our own, but uh, you know not to uh, not to forget the fact that everyone is doing good and there are there are some of the good ones out there. So why to leave that community? Uh, so Mantle will come. And then there is Nautilus chain. We already partnered with them. We had an AMA. We will be seeing with Nautilus also. They have a good Asian community, and uh, that's that's something which is picking up. Uh, we integrated uh, Face Wallet. Face Wallet is from Haichi Labs. Haichi Labs is uh, the 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 greatest. Sorry, the biggest in Korea, and they have about nine million users. Uh, face wallet is used across across 
Korea very, very well. And integration of that will also see a user base. And Face Wallet wants to do a quality analysis uh, with Arsenal. They want to, uh, you know, invite their core gaming community to, to, to participate in our events and have tournaments. Some of the players over here should be happy about it. Uh, so yeah, after their quality on us, I mean, we'll know what what improvements they want. What do they think? It's correct. It's not correct. Uh, stuff like that. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, and you know, asking about marketing plans. Uh, there'll be marketing plans, of course. You know, we we are not stopping with Indigigi. Indigigi, as I said, you know, the next month will be sixty tournaments nationwide. Uh, so we'll be seeing more players coming onto our platform, and then. Uh, uh with the uh, uh with the funding part uh we have indigg helping us um we have to open we did open talks and you know they are making some plans for it and if that happens i think it should be very good for Pavel studios uh to scale up things uh both on chain and off chain off chain is like you know deploying um developing games and on chain is deploying that games on the chain uh so yes Pretty much that it. So I think I did cover almost everything. Uh, so if there are any questions, you know, anything to suggest, please do ask. If I'm missing something, you might highlight that. Any questions, people? No questions, nothing to suggest. All is good. So tomorrow you would be looking at the updated version of Arsenal. So if that is going to happen tomorrow, uh, we will do top GD after tomorrow. Uh, do look at the game you know it's it's it, it, it is gonna please your eyes um so yes uh now arsenal toggy and by the end of this month fan build and it's two so it's gonna be good and uh, yeah please please keep up the support it's really very important for us and uh let's hope for a positive market and uh, we do the nft sales and that can also give us a very strong community. Let's add up more people. And then, you know, I think uh, on the economical side also we'll do well. All good. So I believe there's no questions again. Nothing to ask. Everything is good. Then I would meet you people again in two weeks. In on, on uh, yeah, on, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing Twitter space. All right, so thank you so much for being here and take care. Bye bye.